Hey guys, welcome back to Manicro Custom Guitars. And today I'm going to try to do that color changing chameleon paint job. So this is not going to be a tutorial since it's the first time that I'm trying to do this kind of uh, paint job. So I'm not really um, in the position to tell you how to do it. And if I'm doing something wrong, please be kind in the comment section down below. I really appreciate it, but if you learn something from this video, I'm really happy for you. Okay, so let's roll the intro and we can begin. Okay, so here I have my test subject. I already put a couple of coat of primer. The idea is to put primer first and then do the base coat, which is going to be black, and then the clear with the chameleon pigment, and at the end, a couple of coats of just clear. Now, at this stage, I really want to scuff this coat of primer with some Scotch Bright and put another light coat of primer just before I go to the base coat. Okay, now the black is done. I must say that off camera, I sent it down flat the first couple of coats and I did put two more coats. It's just that um, when the first coats were dry, I was seeing the, the grain pattern of the wood from underneath. And so I decided to send back, send it flat and put two more coats just to cover everything up. So now the next step will be to spray the pigments. And these pigments, I bought them from ebay.co.uk. And the manufacturer of these pigments, they have a website as well. It's called perfectpersandpigments.co.uk. I'll link this stuff in the comment section down below. I will link this product in the description box. And on their website, they say that the, the mixing ratio of this pigment is 25 grams per liter of clear. Now, roughly I'm going to mix around 150 ml of clear, so I can easily put the coats. 
So I will calculate how much I need and mix um, everything up. But before this, I want to cuff again with the scotch bright the black paint job so that the next clear will adhere much better. And I have some, some dust particles lying around the, the body and this will solve that issue. So let's set up and do that. Okay guys, so that went very well. The result, it came out fantastic. Let me see if it... You see, from green to blue, purple. But seeing this guitar live is much different than the seeing through, through a camera. But I assure you that, that the effect really came out really nice 
So in the next step, what I will do, is now it's time to put just clear on top. I will not sand down at the moment or even scuff it. Um, these kind of finishes, these kind of pigments um, finish, they don't really like being sanded down or even scuff it. It's not uh, recommended. So now I just put um, clear on top, straight, and put two or three coats, let them dry, and then I sand flat that clear and put two more coats. Let's make some clear and finish this up. Okay guys, so the first three coats of clear are done and what I want to do is to dry sand flat these coats and then put three more coats of clear. So now, after the final three coats, I'm going to start wet sanding this time and I'm going to start with a 1200 grit wet and dry sandpaper. After that, I'm going to go over with a 1500 grit sandpaper, 2000 grit, and finally I will finish with a 2500 grit sandpaper. Now I want to mention that uh, it's important to alternate the direction of wet sanding, in fact, with the 1200, I start in a circular motion and then with the 1500 and 2000, I alternate between a long, circular, across. But for me, most important is to, with the, with the 2500, I want to finish sanding along the body of the guitar.
and here it is guys buffed to a nice shine you can see the greens blues purples to get a nice effect with the cameras isn't simple but if you see it in person it's really something different so the project is a success is the finish perfect no it's not and and i will tell you why it's not perfect after finishing spraying the the, the body i noticed that the finish it's it has that kind of glitter into it um, kind of metallic flakes and when i see the pictures on on on, on the when i bought the the pigments the the paint was smooth the color was smooth and after i sprayed this body i contacted the manufacturer of the pigments which i should have done before trying this experiment i guess and they told me that this issue might be because i used um, a clear coat instead of what they suggested that i use a binder rather than clear coat and well it was good to know at that point but for me still the result is absolutely stunning even with the glittery effect it's credible let me see if i can again the camera isn't easy to pick what i am talking about Uh, focus All right so yeah it's not perfect but the result is absolutely a star now I do plan I do plan to do the neck the same way I'm still contemplating whether to use a binder or reuse the clear just to keep the same effect as the body I'm still undecided. Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying what you see, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. I do CNC and guitar building related content. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave them down. In the comment section down below if you want to check out more of my work i have the links to my social uh, media down below and make sure you hit that like and share it with your friends so you make this chap a happy boy so guys to the new subscribers and to the old one take care and goodbye